so this baby likes to play games i am so over being pregnant hi guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is casey i'm 20 years old and currently expecting my second baby who could literally be here in like three weeks potentially i am currently 34 weeks pregnant and this is my 34 week pregnancy update i want to start by saying if you can hear any background noise that is because there is a lot of housework going on at the moment i say housework washing um dishwasher and maggie should be going down for a nap but i'm pretty sure i can hear her playing right now so hopefully she'll fall asleep some point while i'm filming this also if i sound out of breath during this video or keep taking breaks to breathe it is because baby boy is so big now that he's just taking up so much room that I cannot breathe I'm out of breath all the time I may as well make this my first symptom or update in this video which is my breathing I feel out of breath constantly and it's like to the point where my lungs feel like they're not fully expanding and I just never feel like my breath is fully caught that is a completely normal pregnancy symptom though and I remember this time in my last pregnancy i was feeling the exact same so hopefully it's only a couple more weeks and he's gonna be here and i can breathe again i did have my midwife appointment two days ago i think and everything went well he is a very very active baby or at least more active than my first pregnancy my midwife comes to me which is very handy because having a toddler and trying to get to the hospital is just hectic so she came to me and she was trying to do his heartbeat and every time she put it on he was moving so much that his heart rate was just spiking it did eventually settle back down when he settled but it took a while so this baby likes to play games he just wiggles constantly and i feel him so low down which is true like the midwife did confirm that he is really low down she didn't quite say he's engaged yet so I don't know if he is i have got another appointment in two weeks time and i'm i'll ask her again then he is very low down and this week i have also got my pregnancy ball out so i have been bouncing on that because it just makes it a bit more comfortable on my back and get him a bit lower down to hopefully encourage him to come before his due date i mean i'm not fussed if he doesn't come before his due date but it would be nice to be over this pregnancy i am so over being pregnant i'm just uncomfortable i did mention in my last update about my group b strep and i thought it was at my last midwife appointment i just had but it's actually going to be at my 36 week pregnancy update so i will update you guys when i know the results to that and fingers crossed we do not want me to have group b we do not want me to have group b strep because that just means more time in the hospital potentially or just antibiotics that I don't want to have to take. I did have an appointment with an anaesthetist, which I'm pretty sure it's called, regarding having an epidural because I did have an epidural with Maggie and they told me I have a slight scoliosis in my back and I had a complication apparently. I didn't think of it as a complication but after I had the epidural I suffered with like numbness in my left hip for quite a while and it's such an uncomfortable feeling like it, I could feel it but I couldn't. I don't know how to describe it but that has completely subsided and he said it could have been so many different things just a baby coming out could hit a nerve or something or it could have been my epidural but i have said i don't have a birth plan i'm just going in open-minded if i want the epidural i'm not gonna like hesitate to get it if that makes sense i'm just gonna see how i feel in labor and decide what i want then and he said he is happy for me to have an epidural they know they can do one they just got to write down in my notes that they've had this phone call with me so that is that should we get on to the pain there's a lot of pain this past week i've been so uncomfortable i think i need to like work head to toe and just tell you everything that has been happening my skin can you even tell like it is breaking out so bad it is ridiculous and like my face hurts from being so sore i don't think you could tell but i feel so uncomfortable just because of all that 
obviously the out of breathness is horrendous my arms and just whole body aches i will get in a position and then just like a limb will just start aching and i think that's because my body is just so exhausted all the time it's like casey what is going on with you you need to relax then down to my back i'd say about in line with my coccyx coccyx is that the right word i'm pretty sure i've like trapped a nerve or something or baby is because he's so low down he's hitting a nerve and it is so uncomfortable literally any movement hurts it and we went pumpkin picking the other day and it was very muddy and i was so scared that i was gonna fall over like slipping around that i think trying to balance myself really didn't help and it has made it so much worse i have been having baths every night just trying to soak it and relax it but it just doesn't seem to be helping um hopefully maybe if he has like a little bit of a wiggle and gets in the right position to come out the pain will go fingers crossed then down to my calves i did mention this last week but i've still had them every morning when i wake up is cramps in my calves it is so uncomfortable like when you wake up in the morning and you want to stretch your body i feel like i physically cannot do that because if I stretch too much, there's going to be a cramp in my calf and that is just oh, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. Once the cramp subsides, I still have this ache in my calf that lasts like all the time. I forgot to mention heartburn. Heartburn is still very prominent. I just, it's really weird because I had so much heartburn with Maggie and I was so sure she was going to have loads of hair and she did. But this time I really don't think he's going to have lots of hair. I'm just so curious to see what he's going to look like at this point because he's going to be here so soon and it's like getting really exciting that I'm actually going to meet this baby. Um, hopefully find a name for him. We have thrown a few more unusual names in the list. I say unusual, they're very old, timeless, kind of, that's like our vintage kind of theme. They're definitely our vibe for baby names. Obviously, Maggie is quite a traditional, old-fashioned name. So, baby boy potentially will be sticking with that theme. I do have a video in mind to film for you guys without... I, I can't give the name away because obviously he doesn't have a name yet. But to give you a bit of a hint to what his name is, I do have a few video ideas about that if you guys are interested but there's a few names on this list that i'm really like happy about and i'm happy that zach likes them as well but i think at this point we're just waiting to see what he looks like most if that makes sense i just don't want to decide on a name until he's here this past week especially but the past couple weeks in my pregnancy i have felt very spaced out like at any given time when Maggie's just off doing her own thing and I can just kind of relax I feel like my body just spaces out and like it's not there because I just it needs to relax and I find it really hard like engaging in a conversation at the moment not to talk about pregnancy brain I do not know what I'm talking about half the time and I cannot get my words out I really struggle so just I just don't feel with it, if that makes sense. There are so many emotions going through my body at the moment. I'm so scared, but so excited at the same time, because obviously having a baby is so, is such a big deal. But I'm also just trying to tell myself that just to go with the flow, see what happens. I don't want to have any really high expectations because I don't want to disappoint myself and make myself feel any worse. So I'm just trying to relax but also at the same time i feel like there is so much to do because he literally can be here in a matter of like three weeks which is so short of a period his room obviously doesn't need to be done but if it's done it will just make my mind relax a little bit and his next to me is just being used for storage at the moment so i need to actually like put it up next to my bed and clean it and make sure everything is okay for him I think we need to get the steriliser out soon to sterilise dummies and bottles. I don't know if I'm going to be using dummies with him, but we'll see. And I do want to try and use bottles as soon as possible just to 
get him used to having a bottle and know that he can take one if I do need to go out or anything. I am also weeing all the time. It's ridiculous. Zach constantly laughs at me and I'm like, just imagine something hitting your bladder constantly. And it's not even that I am weeing. I'm just going to the toilet because it feels like my bladder is going to explode and then nothing comes out because obviously it's just a baby. It's time to show you guys what my 34 week bump is looking like. I am in my pajamas from my waist down, so don't judge that, but let's see what baby boy is looking like. This is what's going on for 34 weeks. I've not actually I'm not actually shown you guys my stretch marks either. So most of my stretch marks are from Maggie, but there's a few that seem to be extending now. I'll show you. So these are all my stretch marks from Maggie. If you see like here and at the top, they're a bit pinker. So I think the stretch marks I already have are extending up. But this is what he's looking like at 34 weeks. I don't think he's dropped, but he is very low down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content coming once baby boy does arrive because I'm, I love looking back at the videos I had when Maggie was born. So I kind of want to have these memories to look back when he is born. So there's going to be a lot more content. Make sure you keep an eye out and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.